Coach E and I will be discussing the warm up part of things. We take you through how I do A skips, fast leg drill. You can also note all the mistakes that I made in this first session to preface these videos. It's always good to have an objective when you're doing a workout, whether it be throughout the warm up or through your main work. And taking your warm up as seriously as your main work will help you in the long run because you're accumulating more volume at higher intensities that you've prepared your body to do. Right here, we're analyzing my A skip. We see you kind of widen at the elbow. This right here is like in the right spot. So your hand knows that we're kind of like leading with it and it's got the right destination in mind. But we go lateral, usually to create stability. So if we ever widen the base anywhere, it's typically to create stability. Because mm -hmm. this one stays pretty linear. It just goes back and forth there. When we go up on some of these sides, a little tilt seems as though it start, starts to appear in the hip, which could put a stress on the piriformis and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see it more on my left side, definitely. It could also encourage us if we open it up a little bit to kind of project this knee a little further, subtly, under fatigue, I've found. What do you mean by that? When people cut their arms short, they tend to kind of match that frequency and cut their stride short in the legs. If we kind of open it up and really focus on extending some of those arm movements, not only can that projection just have something else that's kind of taking it forward right there, but it's also going to possibly hang that knee further, get you more out of that stride length later in the race. Now we're going to review my fast leg drill on the left side. Did it feel different between the two sides? Did you notice that? I don't think I've done it enough to be able to tell the difference with all these new movement patterns it's all super fresh to me so i think there's going to be a lot of variation my body and my brain is just trying to figure out what are we what is this new thing that we're doing yeah it's it's going to be like a, a sensory overload there were times where it's easier i kind of figure out the pacing of it i was doing the drill just practicing on the floor sideways so i could figure out the timing um so it's like i would lay down and i would cycle my legs watching the noah video and i was able to figure out the timing like that that's actually new i haven't heard that one before that's actually a really really good idea to kind of just cycle it through and kind of put it on a metronome yeah and i think the speed will come later oh yeah absolutely and that actually goes to another point suspend that feeling of fast just for a little bit because what this part of the season gives us is the unique opportunity to work on the technical aspects of it that we can't when we get close to competition so when we watch the left go by it tests your torso's ability to kind of keep it forward or keep it straight up. So we may see moments where you start to dip back maybe a little bit to yeah. kind of recruit the hip flexor forward, which is just interesting. Something to note. A lot of people that have trouble with this actually lean back because it's easier to keep everything in front of you. There's so much front side action here that's introduced for a lot of people that they have to cheat back a little bit. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to look at the fast leg drill on the right side. We go to the right right here. I definitely see a coordination difference at the very least. The left side we see just has even timing, consistently decreasing distance, I guess I would say, with each bound. Where this one, it immediately goes in. And we see very ballistic movement at first, and then we see it find its rhythm as it keeps going, but definitely more of a fall off. Any feedback on that? There's a term in swimming. It's like you have a gallop to your stroke. There's like a long pause between your breathing. That's kind of what I see. It's kind of like a, a shuffle almost. I don't know if breathing to one side has affected my ability <laughs> to, to, you know, do this drill, but I think I just have to keep practicing. That's very introspective because that's such a unique consideration. Do you feel more coordinated on one side over the other? Did you? Yeah, when you mentioned that just the word coordination I had like a stint where I was skateboarding for a while and my pushing leg was my left side. You have your one leg in kind of an isometric when it's on the board and the left one is doing all yeah, the so pushing all the time. Goofy. Yeah. Interesting. I can kind of see that in a sense because they'll tell sprinters like go back to the time that you were on a scooter, go back to the time that you were on a skateboard and just cycle your leg in a way uh, that's exactly the same. And I do see that to an extent if we dissolve it down to like the most simple coordination control, that kind of control on the left side versus the right side. These are just a few of the many details that I'm beginning to think about when it comes to the warm up. If you watch the next part of this workout review, you can see the key cue that would have helped prepare me better for the main acceleration work.